Hello artists. The post-impressionist painter Paul Cezanne was famous for his still life paintings. A still life drawing or painting has as its subject items that do not move and remain still, such as fruit, flowers, and household objects. Today, we will be creating a still life drawing in the style of Paul Cezanne. You will need your art journal or a sheet of paper, a pencil and an eraser, and crayons in a variety of colors. Begin with your paper in front of you in a horizontal position, which is also known as landscape. We will sketch the bowl first using a pencil. It should be in the center bottom half of the paper, leaving enough room for the apples or other fruit. I began by sketching the top edge of my bowl and then added the curved sides and bottom. I added a small foot to my bowl, but you can choose a different size foot or even no foot at all. Next, I used a yellow crayon to draw outlines of the apples. Notice how my apples overlap one another. You should do that too. I used the yellow crayon to add a base layer of color to each apple. I was careful to make my marks curve from the stem end down toward the bottom of the apple. Then I began adding layer upon layer of color to make my apples have a smooth surface and lots of interest. I added some shading to give my apples dimension. Combining colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel creates a neutral color, which can be used to shade an area. You can see that I shaded the red apple with green and the green apple with red. I used brown and black to draw my stems. I chose to color my bowl with blue and light blue crayons, but you can use whatever colors you like. You could even decorate your bowl with a pattern. I added dimension to my bowl by shading it with orange, which is opposite blue on the color wheel. Be sure to draw a horizontal line to represent the table and then fill it with color and also you will want to uh, add some color to the wall behind it. This will anchor your bowl and keep it from looking as if it's floating in space. I would love to see your still life drawing, so please send me a photo when you have a chance. I hope you enjoyed this project.